Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just pressed record. It has been two months since I have filmed a video and it's mainly because, well, my life has completely changed. I met my soulmate and well, that's about it. Before I get started, I'm just gonna be putting on my makeup while I'm doing the video. I'm just so happy to just share with you what's going on in my life. If you're new here and you have no idea who I am, but you're interested in the soulmate part or why this random girl just didn't post on YouTube for a little bit, I have been searching for love for my entire life. I feel like, I don't know, maybe you guys can relate, but ever since I came out of the womb, I was like, who am I gonna be married to? Who am I gonna be married to right now? And so I knew in preschool it was gonna be a long, long journey for me to find my person. I don't know if you know me directly, but um, I got my start on YouTube by filming videos on Vivo. They're called Lyric Lines. And basically I would go up to a guy on a college campus and try to get them to go on a date with me. But the whole part of the series was I had to get rejected. You get it? No. After I filmed those, I was filmed in those videos, I basically decided to create a whole YouTube channel on giving dating advice. That channel got 200,000 subscribers. It was really big for me and I was in a relationship during the filming of those videos and it just was like, I don't know, it wasn't me and then we broke up and like the videos were just kind of like, why is this girl giving dating advice if she's single? And I was like, I don't really know. That's a good point. So all of that to say, I have been on the search for love, what feels like my entire life. I had an idea of like, it would be great to meet my soulmate, but like, is, this, is that even real? And is that even gonna happen for me in this lifetime? Because I know if I was watching this video and I saw someone else meet their soulmate, like, I don't know if it's just like a really twisted version of my brain, but I, don't, I would be happy for them, but I'm also like, I would want that for myself. Now that you kind of have like an understanding of like how obsessed I am with finding love and relationships in general, like it's just a part of like who I am. I was going on dates in the beginning of the year and I decided to create a notes out all of the dates I went on in 2023. And I was like really excited by this idea because I'm like, okay, if I'm not gonna find a boyfriend, then I might as well just like make a video about it of all the dates that I've been on, ranking them with stars and sharing it by December of 2023. Because I figured, you know what, if it hasn't happened now, by now, then there's just no point in me like holding out. So let me just make a cool video out of this. So essentially, I, I started to rank the dates. Like, okay, this was good, but I'm looking for this. And while I was making a note of like how the date went, because I've been on many, many, many dates in my entire life. I have gone on an F ton of dates in my lifetime, but I've never really like looked at how many dates I've been on in a year. And I feel like I've been on like hundreds. When I was making notes of like how every date went, it was really awesome to see because I feel like I got a really good perspective, like what I was looking for. Coupled with that, I started to make a list of what I was looking for in a soulmate. So I would go on a date with a guy who would be like, very outgoing, but maybe I had more chemistry with like the waiter for X reason. And I was like, why was I having more chemistry with the waiter than my date? Oh, it's because he was more easygoing than my date and my date was just like trying too hard or whatever it is, which actually did happen. <laughs> but I made a, I started to make a list in my notes app of the soulmate qualities I wanted after every single date. I want him to open the door for me when um, I'm getting in the car. I want him to plan a date. I want him to communicate better with me, to text me every day. So I just kept making a list of everything that I was looking for in a partner. January passed and none of the guys were clicking. By this time, it is February and um, I was on Bumble mainly. There was someone that I had like matched with but the time ran out and I really wanted to like talk to them. I just decided to buy that premium Bumble version where you can reactivate a missed connection. So in doing so, I think it was like, you get it for seven days and whatever. So I messaged this random guy and I never heard from him. And I was like, okay. And in the middle of doing that, I was like, I noticed that I had missed a couple other connections. And so I decided to message these guys and I messaged one of them and I was like, hey, so-and-so, how's your beard doing? Like just something random. Like, cause he had like a really nice beard and he was like, hey Nagin, like this is so unique. Like what a great pickup line. Um, it's doing really well. Like, how are you doing? And in my description, I had something about olives and how I would steal. Like it said, we'll steal your olives with a little cowboy emoji. We were just kind of like, just talking and it was really nice, but um, I don't think I really thought much of it. Cause it was like, 
yeah, I, I was just, I think I was just really, really exhausted. And you can ask my friend Sheridan, not that you would personally DM her, my best friend, and be like, is this true? But like, this girl was FaceTiming me before every date with every guy that I went on. This guy and I, we kind of talked for like a week or so. And then he finally asked me to, asked me on a date and like we exchanged numbers and it was very lovely. Like talking to this guy was, um, he was just really sweet. And you know, I go on a lot of dates and I have interacted with a lot of guys and not many of them are nice and they're not very kind. And I don't feel like I can be myself, which is kind of obnoxious and I text a lot if I really like you. Like, and that's just who I am, right? Like if I have something to say, I will definitely say it. It was just like random that like I had bought the extended version of Bumble, like that premium version, and I ended up like matching with this guy who I thought was like really cute and really sweet. I'm just gonna make it a long story short because of like the really like cute stuff is really just, we had a date on a Monday night and um, I was running late to the date. I was I was 18 minutes late and um, it was just really trafficy in the city that I live in and I don't talk to the Uber drivers really, especially if they're men and that's just like a safety thing. Like I'm not trying to be too engaging because I don't know, I'm just like not in the mood to talk like 99% of the time, but for whatever reason, that day, I spark up a conversation with my Uber driver because I noticed he was wearing a wedding ring. And I was like, oh, like I noticed you're married. You know, I'm going on this day and I'm like 18 minutes late. Do I tell him I'm like five, like, you know, like what do I, what should I do? And he's like, I think you should just tell him the truth that you're just like running late, blah, blah, blah. Like really something really sweet. And I was like, okay. And this guy and I just were like talking about like him and his wife and how they met and how they have like two kids. And he was just so sweet. And it just put me in like the best mood. And my date was so understanding. He's like, take your time. I'm, you know, I'm just sitting outside on the patio at this um, hotel restaurant. And like, I'll be here waiting for you. And I was like, oh my God, yay. So a very, very long, long date story short when I met this guy who um, is now my boyfriend of two months, it was such a special date. It was like, I mean, to be honest with you, like I got there and this guy was like so much more gorgeous than I ever imagined and just so sweet and kind. And we just, it was so easy going. And if I look back on my soulmates list, a lot of it was kind of like being checked off, like validation and just very easy to talk to. and. Yeah, so my man is a Pisces and I'm a Libra and I have never been with a Pisces before. And let me say girls, it is just like awesome. <laughs> anyway, so um, we just spent the whole night talking and then we had a second date uh, the following day because we just were so excited about each other. And then um, by the third day I made us dinner and we just decided that we wanted to be exclusive and like we just started dating by the third date. <laughs> and you guys are probably like, damn girl. But you know, and I hate to say it, but it truly is that when you know, you know. Like, So that was kind of like a very fast, fast version of how I met my soulmate. And now let's dive into why haven't I posted and like what's actually been going on in my life aside from meeting this most amazing man ever. So while I have been in this wonderful, fulfilling relationship, um, I found that I wasn't really as, in, as inspired to post on YouTube and it even happened before my boyfriend and I met. It was um, it was just a lot of stress of like bills, honestly, and like, is YouTube gonna go anywhere for me? It just was a lot of doubt was creeping into my life. And um, I'm just invited to a lot of like weddings and bachelorette celebrations. And it's just like, there's a lot of things that I wanna do and a lot of things that I want. And so it was just like this looming issue of like, how am I gonna afford all of this? You know, how how can I put in, like it just, my time was starting to decrease more and more knowing that like I had a responsibility and that was like paying off my credit card and like getting in a better financial position. And so I just had to like really find another source of income and um, that was just gonna be my main focus. And so I have really dived into changing what my life was like for the past five years. At the same time, it's okay to kind of focus on different things as they come up. This isn't even for your lips. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint, and it's for your cheeks, but I love putting this on. So, but I am really happy to share that I am gonna be making videos again. I am looking for an editor, so if you know anyone who is a YouTube video editor, please let me know. I think that's like really like 
thing that's holding me back is like, I can film a video, I just don't have the time to edit it properly. And, um, but if you guys don't really care about the fanciness of editing, just let me know. Maybe I can like post a little bit more, like not really care about that part of it. Um, but I have a lot of really exciting ideas and what I am working on currently, well, might as well tell you because I haven't even finished like, I'm, I'm just now halfway through on my makeup and um, yeah, I might as well just share with you kind of like the secret stuff that I've been working on because this video is kind of long, I think. I haven't really edited it yet, but um, I'm curious if you guys, any of you guys want to start a YouTube channel? I was like thinking about it the other day. Like I feel like I have a lot of perspective and advice I can provide to um, people who want to start a YouTube channel, especially like in today's day and age. Like you have something you want to share. If you have a good personality, if you're able to talk to a camera with ease or maybe you can train yourself to, um, YouTube is incredible and I just have a lot to share. I have been on YouTube for like close to 10 years. Maybe I haven't been as consi consistent and I could have been a little bit more successful, but hey, if I have a YouTube plaque on my wall, that means I have something to share. So with that being said, um, I'm deciding to start a YouTube consulting company. Essentially what it's going to be is um, if you want to start a YouTube channel or sorry, I'm like looking for or um, you already have a YouTube channel, but you want to know how to make money and how to get subscribers and make it a living making a living from this and having the support of someone to kind of walk you through every single thing that you need to know about YouTube, that would be me. So I'm creating this service and I'm gonna be working with my friend Natasha who is like this awesome, she's gonna be my testimonial. She'll be the first one that I'm working with before I launch. And um, I'm gonna be kind of like testing everything out on her. And we're both really, really excited. So I think we're gonna get started next month. But um, if you are interested and you wanna start a YouTube channel, like comment below some of the questions that you have. I would be super interested to know like, what do you need help with? What are you wanting to accomplish by posting on YouTube? Maybe you have always dreamt of having a YouTube channel, but you have like zero idea for like where to start. Let me know, comment below your questions. And if you're actually interested in working with me when I launch, um, you can follow the Instagram page between us consulting. And I believe it's between us dot consulting on Instagram and I'll link it in the description below. Like you're only going to see like two followers cause like I haven't launched anything, but um, it is going to be called between us and I'm really, really excited. I'm working with um, a graphic designer who did the graphics for Shiner Beer. I'm going to be working with a website developer who's going to create the entire website for me and just make it as seamless as possible. And what else am I doing? I'm getting photos done by my friend Sonali. So just a lot of good things are coming. You, I also am really enjoying this Ilya. Um, eyeshadow palette it has been I've already gone to pan on Grace the color grace. I believe that is what it is and it's just like very very neutral like great for my skin tone and Very happy about it So tonight, um, actually my boyfriend is gonna be meeting my two best friends at dinner and <laughs> my man and I were both freaking nervous because uh, My friends, I mean, I've never really introduced. I mean None of my best friends have ever wanted to meet a partner that I'm seeing and it's been just like five years and so I'm a little bit nervous because I feel like one of the girls, she is very straightforward, she is pretty just true to who she is and she's gonna cut it too straight. So we're both like, you know, I'm nervous and yeah. But I don't really know what I'm gonna wear yet. I think I wanna wear like a flowy dress, but I feel like I'm gonna be like really overdressed. Oh, but my man dresses up and he always dresses so nice. If you guys wanna see what he looks like, you can follow me on Instagram and you'll see a photo. But um, shout out to you, to my man and my friends. But um, yeah, so crazy. You know, I would have looked back on my life like just um, a few months ago, like literally never would have assumed that I would be in a just really like healthy relationship. And I look back on the ways that like guys have treated me in the past and what I have allowed to be treated like, and it just kind of blows my mind. You know, I would rather still to this day, if I hadn't met my boyfriend, like I'd rather still be single than, you know, 
go for a relationship that doesn't excite me and push me and help me grow. Okay, so there is a question uh, that I feel like a lot of you probably had and that is like, um, living alone, like what is that looking like? Do you still recommend living alone? Am I still living alone? Yes, I still recommend it. And we, my boyfriend and I are not gonna live together until we are pretty much married or engaged. And um, I can confidently say that. Also, he like will not allow it because, which is really nice. Like I think living alone, I've lived with a significant other that we like weren't engaged or married. And um, yeah, I don't think I would do it ever again until we are. like. That's like something that I've really learned the hard way is like, unless we are talking about marriage or will get married or are engaged, maybe we can live alone like when we're engaged, but like, yeah, living alone has been just so wonderful and I still love like my journey with how far I've come and um, I do feel like I'm going to be renewing my lease in this apartment complex if they don't absolutely destroy me with the cost for renewing. But there are still some very, like a lot of challenges that still come with it. Like there's like this homeless camp like right next to me, which is completely fine. But, um, you know, I just, you really never know. Like you just have to be very, very cautious of your surroundings because there are just some people that are really like, I don't know. You just have to be very careful. Ooh. So I don't know if I'm gonna to continue to make living alone videos. I feel like um, with the moving in season coming up very soon, um, I would love to share some really good moving in tips and apartment tips. So if that's something that you really wanna see, comment down below and keep me posted and let me know if that's something that is of interest for you. But um, yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, like a lot, 90, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, like I really am with my boyfriend a lot of the week. There will be some nights where I am alone, but just with how busy I have been lately, um, it's not the same routine that I have filmed about for the last three years, three, four years. It's very, very different and it has actually changed a lot. So, um, and that's okay, right? Like, you know, life isn't meant to be, you know, lived the same every single year. And so that's something that I've tried to been um, adjusting to. It's just like really hard that like my life is no longer the same as it was five years ago, mainly like, you know, career wise. And yeah, so lots, lots that I have learned. And I'm just like really proud of myself for staying true to who I am. You know, like even just meeting a partner, I'm still able to, you know, live my life and continue to be who I am. And I haven't, I feel like I haven't really changed and I've only just grown into like a better version of myself. And I think that's like the, that's like kind of like the goal when meeting a partner, a life partner is like, how can they help you step into like who you really are? I am a hoe for blush. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this catch up was, you know, long enough. And I feel like you hopefully I'm really hoping that you feel kind of like back in my life and this is like exactly how I would talk to one of my girlfriends but probably just like emphasize 20 billion more times like I found my soulmate and he treats me so well. Oh my god a ladybug just flew in the window. Is that good luck? I hope so. Um, anyway if you are on a journey of self love or looking for love um, I wish you the best. Don't settle truly. You live one life. Find the person that treats you like a true princess and um, if you want more tips on that and like what I have learned with dating my boyfriend and how he treats me, let me know because I'm just really, really grateful and I'm really wishing you the best and I'm rooting for you. If you are interested in working with me for like YouTube, consulting management, maybe you have questions, let me know by DMing me on Instagram you can do it at betweenus.consulting or you can do it at Nikki Dargahi on Instagram. So just contact me and let me know and, and please subscribe and like this video and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Kisses.